Hi there, when I made the top cylinder cover for the Stuart half beam in uh, video uh, part 7 um, a number of people raised concerns about the um, concentricity of the hole um, for the piston rod in relation to the cylinder and it sort of got me a little bit worried um, so in this video, in order to alleviate some of my anxiety um, I'm going to um, machine the piston and the piston rod, so hopefully it'll uh, be a really nice fit. So the piston rod is made out of a piece of stainless steel 3 sixteenths of an inch in diameter and the piston is made out of uh, a piece of cast iron. Now for the piston rod uh, this needs to be um, brought down to a length of 3 and 5 eighths of an inch uh, which I'll do in the lathe and then on one side I need to put a 5BA thread on it uh, for a length of a uh, quarter of an inch and on the other side I need to put on a 2BA thread um, again for a length of a quarter of an inch. Now I've read in a couple of places um, that you need, really need to protect this stainless steel rod when you put it in the three jaw chuck and um, somewhere I saw a recommendation that um, you make um, something like that out of a piece of brass uh, so it's drilled through the same diameter as the rod and then the idea is that you um, cut down one side and then you put that in the rod in the three jaw chuck um, to hold the rod um, but having done it it certainly hasn't worked for me it's, uh, it's way out of the centre there uh, so I've ditched that idea and um, somewhere else I read that what you can do is you can use a bit of shim this is two thou thickness so what my plan is here, I'm going to wrap that round the stainless steel and there where there's that slight gap I'm going to make sure that none of the three jaws goes into that gap and that way it should protect or help protect the stainless steel rod. Okay, so what I need to do now is cut this um, 5BA thread on here. So I've set the dial gauge up on the uh, carriage and uh, set the carriage stop a quarter of an inch in. I've uh, set the cutter uh, on the edge of the 3 sixteenths of an inch diameter stainless steel rod and I need to reduce it down to um, 3.2 millimetres which is 0.126 of an inch. So if I take 0.126 off 3 sixteenths, I get 0 0.0615, so 61 thou to come off. So what I'll do is I'll take um, 30 thou off in 10 thou increments. And for the final cut, I'll use the uh, fine feed on the carriage. Well that seemed to go okay, but one problem I've got with these dies I use, 
even if I turn them round I can never thread right up to the shoulder so what I'm going to do is I'm going to use this um, 16th of an inch parting tool just to take that little bit off up to the shoulder so that the piston can uh, screw right on to that edge there but I'll do all that off camera once I've done that I'll switch it round and then I'll thread the other side 2BA okay so for the 2BA thread I need to uh, reduce the diameter down to 4.7 millimeters so I literally need to take about a thou off Well I can't believe it, um, I've not got a 2BA die so I've had to send off for one and I usually get, uh, if I can, my taps and dies from uh, model fixings and uh, they, they turn them around pretty quickly and I think they're quite good quality as well um, so anyway I've, I've since been on holiday as well so <laughs> this is about uh, 10 days later but anyway uh, I'll, I'll get on and uh, finish this piston rod So I've just faced off the cast iron billet for the piston. Okay, so for the piston, the um, diameter is round about uh, an inch to uh, fit nicely into the cylinder. Now the uh, width of the um, piston is a quarter of an inch and there's a groove in the centre which is an eighth of an inch wide by an eighth of an inch deep, uh, which means that these two sides are about uh, a sixteenth of an inch. Um, it's threaded in the centre 5BA and there's a recess cut in here which is half an inch in diameter by its sixteenths of an inch deep. So my plan is sort of like this. First of all cut the recess, then drill and tap 5BA for about half an inch depth. Then turn uh, the outside to tenth hour oversize uh, for the diameter. Then cut the groove and then part off. Uh, so just over a quarter of an inch wide. Now uh, the first bit I'm not too sure how to do this on the lathe. Now if it was on the mill I'd probably just use an end mill um, but it's not on the mill so it's on the lathe so I just need to have a think about how I'm going to go about doing that. So I think what I'm going to do first of all is I'm just going to centre drill and then I'm going to drill through um, half an inch depth um, with the 2.7 millimeter drill bit in preparation for the 5BA thread and have, having done that I, I can then probably have a think about how I'm going to open this recess up Okay, so to cut the recess, I'm not sure whether this is an orthodox method of doing it, uh, but I can't think of another way. Um, I'm certainly not going to put an end mill in the chuck. Um, so I've tilted the um, compound slide, and um, the idea will be I'll just withdraw the cross slide um, by around about six millimeters to give me roughly half an inch diameter. Now I'll, I'll cut in at um, 10 thou increments, so uh, well, let's give it a try. <laughs>
Well the method seems to be working so I'll carry on uh, off camera and I'll get back to you afterwards. So now I'm just tidying up the inside edge with the boring bar. So off camera I just tapped 5BA and uh, now I'm turning the outside diameter um, to uh, 10 thou oversize. I'm running at 300 rpm and uh, using the fine feed on the carriage. So I'll keep on cutting in 10 thou increments until I'm just 10 thou oversize. Well the first groove worked out ok, so uh, now I need to cut the uh, second one alongside it. Now to part off using the uh, cross slide fine feed. Oh dear. Well I ended up using the hacksaw to part it off, um, but it's not turned out too bad. So um, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to use some Loctite to attach the piston to the rod, the Loctite 638, and uh, also this half uh, nut, this 5BA. Once I've done that I'll put it in the three jaw chuck and uh, I'll probably have to sort of shim it a little bit to get it spot on centre and then I'll uh, finish off the um, diameter so it's a nice fit in the cylinder. Okay so I've just put the piston rod in the three jaw chuck and just checking run out and there's less than half a thou there so I'm happy with that. So all I need to do now is uh, just nibble away at this edge here uh, until I get a nice fit in the cylinder 
but I'll do all that off camera. So just to give it a quick test, I've put the piston in the cylinder. I've not used the uh, rubber piston ring, it seems quite tight with that on. Uh, so, I'll, so I'll probably use graphite yarn when I build it proper. Um, but anyway, um, let's see uh, if it works. Happy with that so far. Well, that certainly seemed to uh, take a while and uh, not having a 2BA die didn't help uh, and also going on holiday. <laughs> um, talking about holidays, um, holidays I find are brilliant for uh, doing a bit of research and development. And uh, while I was away, I decided to uh, buy this. I just received it today and it's a Prusa um, 3D printing kit. So I'll be building that over the next couple of days, hopefully. Now back to this piston. Um, I'm really happy with the way it's turned out. I mean, I'm, it's a shame my parting off didn't go to plan. And in hindsight, I should have offered some tailstock support, I think. And maybe double checked the, um, the chuck. But uh, anyway, you live and learn. Um, and previously, uh, in, in my previous video, a number of people had raised concerns about the uh, concentricity of the top cover um, for the cylinder and uh, I'm really happy that uh, it's it's spot on and uh, this the actual piston is really good so I'm really happy with the way that's turned out the one thing I'm not happy with is this piston ring now the groove is cut um, spot on the dimensions but when I put the ring on, um, it's just extremely tight in the cylinder. And the cylinder is, is, it, is actually, I think, seven thou oversize. Um, so I, I think when I come to the build, I'll probably replace that with some graphite yarn. Uh, but anyway, um, I'm really happy with the result. And uh, I hope you like it too. And I hope to see you later. <laughs>